Hello, welcome to my videos on how to analyze serial music. Today I want to talk about finding combinatorial hexachords without the aid of a matrix. If you look at the following example, you will notice there are two transformations of a 12-tone row. Look closely at the first hexachord of each voice. They both combine to create an aggregate. The same happens with the last hexachord of each voice. Theorists call this compositional process hexachordal combinatoriality, and these aggregates are sometimes called secondary sets. Hexachordal combinatoriality is actually possible with any hexachord that serves as its own complement, which are all the hexachords besides those that are Z-related. The possible combinations are prime prime, prime inversion, prime retrograde, and prime retrograde inversion. The six hexachords that can generate all four types are called all combinatorial hexachords, which I will discuss in the next video. To diagram and find combinatorial relationships, write the hexachords in their unordered prime form. If they both reduce to the same prime form, then they will form an aggregate. With this particular row, that is set class 620, 014589, which is the hexatonic scale. To find the prime prime combinatoriality, examine the first hexachord's interval vector. If there are any zeros in the interval vector, then transposing the second prime hexachord by the resultant interval or intervals will create a prime prime combinatoriality aggregate. Thus, PO and PX will be T related. With this hexachord, there are two answers P2 and P6. Now, to find the prime inversion combinatoriality, first list hexachord A in best normal order. Second, list the same hexachord in normal order backwards, moving counterclockwise instead of clockwise from zero. Third, scale down through the unordered I results. If the particular I set duplicates no pitch classes with P, then they will form an aggregate. And fourth, add the pitch classes which should all have a uniform sum. This uniform sum is the TNI relationship, meaning the two hexachords are I-related. You should arrive at TEI, T7I, and T3I. Here are those examples both in musical notation and with simple mathematical notation. Finally, analyze the following passage. Given PO, and assuming each hand presents a different form of the row, find the unordered prime form of each hand's hexachord, the type of combinatoriality, and the secondary row. I will explain how to find prime retrograde and prime retrograde inversion combinatoriality in the next video. Thank you for watching. If you find these videos helpful, please follow my YouTube channel and give me a thumbs up. You can also find me on the following sites.